can we have access to speaker's meaning, speaker's intention? From previous talk, we know that the notion of cooperation is central. Again and again, we are using this term. Now, this is the time to focus on it because through it, we will be able to know how we get access to speaker's meaning. We means hearers, addresses, because we have said in the beginning when we introduced Grice's theory of meaning that the speaker assumes hearer recognizes my, uh, my intention. Okay. So, this is the central notion in this whole uh, theory and its discussion. So, let us focus on it closely. Grice says that there is no direct link between what is said and what is meant. This is simply the gist of his theory. Keep this in mind. There is difference between what is said and what is meant. No direct link. See this dialogue to reinforce this point again. I am out of petrol. Speaker A is there. And speaker B responds. There is a garage around the corner. This is the response. Now see the actual words and the response that comes. And interestingly, speaker A understands the response of speaker B. He understands within this context that this person tells me that uh, a garage is near, a petrol pump is very near, go over there and get petrol from. Gray suggests that a principle connects both utterances. Now, how this speaker A connects uh, his words with speaker B's response? Grice says these two utterances are connected by a principle, by invisible principle, natural principle, and that is principle of cooperation. With the help of this principle, both speaker and hearer fill up the missing links. And when these missing links, missing information, is filled up, the message is conveyed. We get access to the speaker's meaning. The principle of cooperation actually is a set of expectations. These expectations are called maxims of cooperation. Maxim means norms, things which uh, we should follow and uh, uh, we are not bound to follow them. They are not rules like traffic rules or grammatical rules. Rules and maxims are different. Maxims can be violated. Okay. So, what are these expectations or maxims of cooperation? They are four. Number one. Maximum of quality, maximum of quantity. Sorry. This maxim says that contribute to talk as much as is required. What it means? When you talk with a person, provide sufficient information to that person. Nothing more, nor less. A speaker says. Where do you live? And B replies, in Lahore. Now see, B, B in fact violates this principle. B is not cooperating. And that's why A doesn't understand where this person lives. Lahore has nine or ten towns, then blocks, then cities. So he does not provide sufficient information. So maximum of quantity is violated. 
the second maxim is maxim of quality here quality means that you provide true information as much true as you know about it right for example see this dialogue speaker a says are they married and b says as far as i know they are okay this this uh, uh, speaker b is following maxim of quality because he uses this cautious expression as far as i know this is the information available to me and according to this information they are married okay then comes maxim of relation it simply says be relevant relevant to the current talk and current context for example speaker a says why is pakistan in crisis speaker b says i was in ksa kingdom of saudi arabia i met pakistanis they all were happy about the things going on in pakistan see this response so it is not relevant to the question pakistan is in crisis the person is asking for reasons he is not asking where you are currently and uh, what other people are doing where you live currently that was not expected from him so he is not relevant similarly fourth maxim is maxim of manner how you convey your information what is the manner of conveying your information it is clear or it is ambiguous or confusing it should be clear transparent so that the other person could understand your talk easily for example speaker a says where you uh, sorry were you in your car were you in your own car the response says uh, this response comes um i remember but not sure i was now see what this person would understand whether he was in his own car or not not certain so this is not clarity in the communication of information what grai suggests are not rules as i uh, already explained they are just expectations which may be violated these violations now what happened this is how this principle of cooperation are these four maxims the same thing operate how they operate when a speaker violates these maxims the hearer reacts to that violation and during that reaction he is forced to infer to derive the meaning being conveyed indirectly so in a way violation triggers the implication of the message it violation of these maxims it is the thing that the hearer uses to get access to speaker direct this is response to our question in this module now you would do this task so that you can understand this use of maxims yourself you are a press reporter you ask a question uh, you are a to a politician politician is b now a says sir is it a threat to our unity b says no comment a doesn't reply and leaves what will you understand from this reply according to grice theory this too has certain meaning the speaker has conveyed you that meaning now try to discover uncover that meaning with the help of this uh, theory of cooperation or maxims of communication we conclude grice theory can help feminist cause against sexism in language the theory is based on principle of cooperation so 
this conclusion actually refers to the previous module and this module. These two conclusions were drawn together here because the first was related with introduction of this theory and its potential for its application to our field and second is that what is cooperation and how cooperation provides us a way to access the speaker's meaning that we derive from this model.